All right, so what we're looking for is to transfer our information from our journal into our general ledger. And what I'm transferring is only my cash at bank account. Now just to briefly explain what I'm looking at here, we're looking at the T format, so we'll do the T format first and then we'll do exactly the same exercise but in a running balance format. <coughs> All right. Now at the top of my account, this is my T account, it always has the account name and the account number over here. Oh, I'll get that back on screen. Account number over here. Now we, we know our account number because we were using our chart of accounts and there's my cash at bank account and it was number 100. So, so we know that, that we've got the right account there. Now our aim is to transfer information. So what was the first step in the process that I needed to do? Write the date. Write the date. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this piece of information into my general ledger account. So first of all, it's October and it's the first. First piece of information I need to transfer. And I'm going to use this journal entry here to post into here. Now, we know debits and credits. Now my normal balance in my cash account is debit. So my normal balance, that means if I'm going to increase cash at bank, it's a debit. If I'm going to decrease cash at bank, it's a credit. And my T account means my debit's left hand side, my credit's on the right hand side. Alright, so I transfer this one piece of information. I've written the date already. Now what I want to do is my particulars is the opposite entry. So I know I'm posting to my cash account. Where did the other side go to? It went to share capital. And my post reference is the share capital account number. Now my share capital account number was number 300, so I post that into my post reference. And it's for 10,000. So I'm going to put 10,000 in here. Now when we, when we do this, whether we do this for a manual system or an accounting system, if I run a list of transactions for this account, this is the information I'll see. On the 1st of October, I had a $10,000 amount into my bank account and the offset goes to share capital. And it tells me the account number as well. So I don't have to go looking up the journal anymore. The information's here in my general ledger account. Is everyone following me so far? Okay, cool. Alright, so that then means I can get to tick off my first entry. My next entry is also on the 1st of October and it's for cash. So once again, it's cash. And my cash is debited and I get this money from a bank loan. So I enter the information there, my bank loan. The account number for my bank loan is 230. So I put that as my post reference and it's for $5,000 this time. And I get to tick off that transaction. My third transaction that has cash in it is my office equipment. And there, now this means that I've credited my cash here. So I've actually had cash come out of my bank account. So I'm now doing a credit transaction in my cash account. So once again we put in the date the date is October the 2nd. My particulars are office equipment. So I'm looking here to write, and I'm going to abbreviate, off equipment. And my post reference, can someone tell me my post reference account for office equipment? 130, thank you very much. And the amount was for 5000 Everyone okay with those first three transactions? Yep, cool. I move on to my next transaction where I receive some revenue in advance. And it's for $1,200. It's on the 2nd of October, so enter my date. I am now, it's once again abbreviated rev in advance. What's my revenue in advance account number? 400. No, it's not. Revenue received in advance is 213. Okay, my revenue is 400, but this one's uh, 213. So I put my reference in there of 213, and it was for $1,200.
Let me tick that one off. I've got some services revenue now. So that's on the 3rd of October. Services revenue, what's the account number? Yep, this one's 400, yep. 400 and it's for 10,000 cash. Ticking off that one. I've got a credit now for my cash account. So I'm looking to now post my, uh, on the, what is it, 3rd of October. I've got rent expense. What's my rent expense account number? 510, thank you very much. And it's for $900. Tick off that one. I've got another credit here, which is my, for my prepaid insurance. So now on the 4th, I've got a, thir a third. Sorry, a bit early in the morning, my tongue is not cooperating with my teeth. Um, prepaid insurance. And that account number, what's my prepaid insurance account number? 112. And that's for 600. Oops, we're sliding off the screen. Try and get myself back on there. So tick off prepaid. Uh, advertising supplies accounts, no cash there. Alright, so down towards the bottom of the page, I've got a cash dividend. And that means I've got a credit in my cash again. So on the 20th of October, I had dividends. What's my dividend account number? 320. And it was for 500. So that ticks off that cash item. And we're looking on the last page. We've got, we paid some salaries for cash. So that's once again a credit. So on the 26th, Salaries. What's my salaries account number? 500. 500. And it was for 4,000. And that ticks off that one as well. Now what we aim to do is we aim to close the account here now. So this is what we want to do is we want to close the account. In other words, find out what the account balance is. Now how do we find the account balance? Now because I know the normal balance in my cash is debit, I'll add up my debit side first. So I've got 10, 15, 16, 16, 200, 26,200. Now I know I want my accounts to balance. So what I'm trying to do is make my credit side balance this as well. Can someone do me a favour with a calculator and just add up those credit amounts there? How much? 11,000? Yep, 11,000. Now, so my balance of my account will be the difference between my debit side, 26,200, and my credit side, which we worked out to be 11,000. So that means my closing balance which we do on the 31st of October, my closing balance is 15,200. And what then happens is we swing that into our opening balance over here, becomes our opening balance on the, the 1st of November. And we bring in 15,200. So it's pretty simple.